What's going on everybody? Welcome back. In this video, we have a bunch of expressions here to simplify dealing with exponents. And that's actually what I'm going to do in the next few videos. I'm going to just keep giving you examples. Unfortunately, in this unit, there's no like set way to do these questions. There's an infinite amount of scenarios that you could run into. So the best way to get comfortable is to do as much practice as possible. And I'm going to give you as many examples as I can from my side over the next few videos. But make sure that you get practice on your own as well. And for these examples, I'm always going to be referring to these exponent laws here. Now, you may actually want to write these down on a separate sheet of paper and constantly refer to it throughout the unit. Right? So starting with number one, we got 3 to the power of 3 times 3 to the negative 5. Now, when you are multiplying exponents with the same base, that is this scenario over here. Multiplying exponents with the same base, you just add the exponents. So 3 plus negative 5 gives us 3 to the negative 2. And 3 to the negative 2, that is this scenario here. When you have a negative exponent, basically you go 1 over 3 to the power of positive 2. You change that exponent to positive, so this ends up being 1 over 9. Right? So this simplifies to 1 over 9, and you could actually check it in your calculator. You could plug this in and see if you get 1 over 9. You may get a decimal, so you plug that in and just see if it's the same decimal value. Okay, number 2. We got 4 to the negative 5 times 4 to the power of 6 squared. So here, we have the same base as well, but what we want to do first is we want to simplify this. So 4 to the power of 6 to the power of 2, notice that that's this scenario here. So when it's in this format, you multiply the exponents. So this would end up being 4 to the 12. And then here, 4 to the negative 5 times 4 to the 12, multiplying the same base, you could add the exponents. So this would be 4 to the 7. And 4 to the 7 to the power of 7 is actually 16,384. So that is the answer for that right there. Okay, moving on to number 3. We got 6 times 6 to the power of 0 times 6 to the negative 3. Now, notice how the 6 is by itself. There's no exponent there. So when a number is by itself, it's always to the exponent 1. And then we have 6 to the power of 0, 6 to the negative 3. So notice we can just add up all of these exponents. So 1 plus 0 plus negative 3 would give us negative 2. And this would be 1 over 6 to the power of 2, right, using this law here. So that would be 1 over 36. Also remember, anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. I actually didn't write that out. You may actually want to add that. Uh, so basically, anything to the power of 0 is always equal to 1. So we could have just ignored that. So 6 to the power of 1 times 6 to the negative 3. 1 minus 3 gives us negative 2. But either way, answer is 1 over 36. Moving on to number 4, we have a fraction we're dealing with here. So what you want to do with fractions, always try to simplify the numerator and the denominator as much as possible first. So notice here, 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 2, we can multiply the exponents, so that would be 2 to the power of 8 over 2 to the power of 3. And these are the same base, and we are dividing the exponents. So it's this scenario here. Same base, so we can subtract the exponents. So it would be 8 minus 3, so that would be 2 to the power of 5. And that would give us 32. Okay, moving on to number 5, we got 2 to the negative 6 over 2 to the negative 9. Now, notice how these are the same base, so we could subtract these exponents, so you'd go negative 6 minus negative 9. However, before doing that, what I like to do, whenever I'm dealing with a fraction and I see any negative exponents, I always like to bring them over and then change them to positive. So this negative 6, 2 to the negative 6 would come down and it would change to 2 to the power of positive 6, and then this 2 to the negative 9 would come up and change to 2 to the power of 9, positive 9. So this would be 2 to the power of 9 over 2 to the power of 6. 
which would give us 2 to the power of 3, right? 9 minus 6, which gives us 8. It's just easier to subtract positive exponents. Now, what if this was just positive 9 like that? Well, then we would keep this in the denominator. So this would be like 1. There would be a 1 left over. We'd bring the 2 to the, six, two to the negative 6 down, and 2 to the 9 would stay there. So this would be like 1 over 2 to the 15. Not sure what that is, but it'd be 1 over whatever that number is. Right? But because they were both negative, this we bring over, and then that we bring over as well. So we end up with that, 2 to the power of 3, which is equal to 8. And again, you could always check your answers by plugging in the original expression, seeing if you get that same amount.